Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and are pushing it. And also Shalom to the uh, brothers who are pushing this truth as well uh, in, uh, in sincerity. Uh, I wanted to uh, do a quick video uh, just, uh, you know, exhorting, you know, brothers who may just not be coming into the truth, might just not be hearing about it, you know, you, you're watching these videos, you're trying to find out, you know, what this is all about, and uh, the first thing it's about is charity, you know, being brotherly, um, and having faith, you know, that's how you're going to be saved, and so a lack of faith is not going to get you on a chariot, okay? We preach about chariots, we preach about how you're going to be saved. Um, you know, salvation comes through you, through the belief in Yahusha, okay? That he is the Messiah, you know, uh, and not not in uh, these, these other images and false gods that have been uh, stuffed, uh, stuffed down our throats since we were, since we were, you know, young, young children, okay? And, uh, you know, if, if the Most High has opened your mind to this truth, um, we're, we're not, we're not to neglect that, you know, we're supposed to, we're supposed to, uh, to act on that, you know, and we're supposed to be, to be happy to do so, okay? We understand that we're going to go through tribulation and trial. We understand that, uh, people are going to persecute us, make fun of us, you know, not believe us. But the scripture said, what if, what if some did not believe? Will that make the, the word of the Most High of none effect? Roughly paraphrasing? No. Okay? Whether you hear or forbear, the job of the prophets is, is to prophesy. Okay? So, if he's, if he's giving you that understanding, you know, if he's giving you the name, if he's giving you, if he's giving you that understanding, then, uh, you know, we, we are to we are to work that that work, man. Not not to neglect the uh, the calling that we have from on high. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna get a, a scripture uh, that Yahweh that Yahweh said. Okay, because this is we he he is our role model. He is the ultimate example, and uh, we are to we are to follow his his uh in his footsteps. Okay, being his disciples, and that that word disciple. And discipline have the same root word. It takes discipline to be a disciple. Okay, you can't be uh, lollygagging and being lackadaisical and putting off from day to day. Okay, you have to give attendance to reading, study to show yourself approved. You know, pray, fast. You know, and it's a lot easier said than done, but the elect are gonna actually accomplish it. Okay. You can tell a tree by 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 its fruits. Okay, every 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 work, you know, that that a man does, you can tell what kind of man he is by 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 the by his action. Okay, so we show our faith by our works. All right. Uh, this is a uh, John chapter nine verse four. I must work the works of Him that sent me, while it is day. Okay, and did did Yahweh not command us to let our light shine forth in the world? That light is the understanding of these scriptures. Okay, so excuse me. So we're not to neglect the uh, uh, the work, man. Okay, it says the night cometh when no man can work. Okay, so we we're gonna we're going we're going to uh, have a period of rest. Okay. We're gonna have we're gonna have a time of rest, but even before that, there's gonna be the time of night when no man can work. That's uh referring to uh, the famine of the word. Okay, this is uh let me get it in Amos. Okay, Amos chapter eight, verse uh, verse eleven. Behold, the days come. Saith the Lord, saith Yahweh, your power, 
that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of the hearing of the words of Yahweh. Okay? Now we know that Israel as a nation is a stiff-necked people. Okay? And a lot of them are still into Christianity. And I don't want to diverge too much, but the Spirit is heavy on uh, uh, attacking Christianity right now because it's a, it's a huge stumbling block. The image of Caesar Bolger is a huge stumbling block uh, to our nation. Okay? And, uh, you know, they're going to be, they're going to be, these, these churches are going to be uh, praying to Jesus. You know, you're going to have these false prophets prophesying uh, 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 about Jesus and just believing in him until the very end. Okay? But the words of the Lord, which is, which is the words that, that, uh, that the men of the Lord are speaking, okay, from the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down, it's going to be a famine. It's going to be a famine of those words in that day, okay. In verse twelve, it says, "And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, and they shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh, and they shall not find it." Okay, because the uh, the words that are spoken in these in these in these churches, man, they're not the words of the Lord. Okay, uh, and that's why. You know, Israel as a nation is so is so it just in, in saturated, in, uh, infatuated, and saturated uh, with lies. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm gonna get Isaiah chapter 30, starting at verse 8, and this is the proof that Israel doesn't like to hear the words of the Lord. Now go, write it before them in a table. And note it in a book, that it may be for the time to come, forever and ever. Okay? And that's talking about right now. That time to come is talking about right now. Verse 9, that this is a rebellious people, lying children. Children that will not hear the law of Yahweh. Does that mean that we are to stop uh, prophesying because they're not going to hear us? Or because it's too hard? Or because it's... Uh, something that is uh, undesirable no man okay it's time to, it's time to prophesy it's time to preach all right verse 10 we say to the seers see not and to the prophets prophesy not unto us right things Israel doesn't want to hear right things Israel doesn't want to hear uh, that, that, that they're that they going off, okay? But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is telling us to prophesy uh, unto Israel whether they hear or forbear, okay? All right, this is Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel to a rebellious nation okay a hard-headed nation that hath rebelled against me they and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day so until this very day Israel as a nation is gonna be a rebellious people and that is that is exactly what you see to this day they're still worshiping uh, the image of, of Jesus Christ, which goes back to the false god, Serapis Crispus, okay, which is a combination of the Egyptian god, Osiris, and Apis the Bull. Look it up. Look in Caesar Bogier, the Bogier family. They're in the time of the Renaissance, okay? All of these things are on the internet. We are in the information age. All you have to do is look it up. All you have to do is go to uh, uh, Revelation, the first chapter, start at the at the 13th verse. Uh, I believe Daniel, the fifth chapter, talks about talks about what what the Son of Man looks like. Okay, it does not match up with the depiction of these images that are in uh, 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 the, these the Roman Catholic churches. Okay, 
in, 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 in these other uh, Christian churches today. All right. Do some research, man. The scriptures say uh, search the scriptures. OK. Uh, Ezekiel uh, chapter uh, two. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Chapter two, uh, verse four. For they are an impudent children and stiff hearted. OK. I do send thee unto them and thou shalt say unto them. Thus saith Yahweh, your power. We're telling Israel that the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh and the name of the Son is Yahweh Shai. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. Okay? So we're not to be afraid of, of uh, uh, prophesying. We're not to be ashamed of uh of the of the foolishness of preaching okay we're supposed to we're supposed to take cheerfully uh any tribulation that come that comes uh uh comes our way if it's for you how about shimmy all shot man because he said he sacrificed his life for us okay so he's he's worthy to he's worthy to sacrifice uh 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 a couple hours a week you know what i'm saying Shoot, we, 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 bro, our lives are nothing, bro. We, we not even supposed to, we not even supposed to, uh, to enjoy, enjoy our life a hundred percent. Like, uh, uh, I, I should say maybe, maybe I should rephrase it to, to, to enjoy the, the, the lust of the flesh, man. We already know that everything that's going on in this side, man, is, is vanity. It's going to get burnt up. Okay. And we're not to, we're not to, uh, let the. The, the, the lust of the, of, the, of the flesh, okay, get get in our way of, of preaching the gospel, man. All right? This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. So they didn't esteem those things that are given to us on this side, whether it be your wife, your children, your car, your house, your your job, any any so-called FRN uh, financial gain that you have on this side, they 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 esteem that nothing, man, compared to the salvation that is in your house shot. Okay, that's what it means when it says they love not their lives unto death. Okay, and so uh, Satan Esau is gonna uh, is gonna uh, get in the way of uh of uh doing the work he's gonna make it hard he's gonna make you want to quit man that's what makes that's what makes the reward so much more so much more enjoyable you know we're working for this thing man uh, let me see did i get john already yeah okay so let me go to jeremiah chapter 13 Verse 16. Jeremiah 13 and 16. It says, Give glory to Yahweh your power, because ye cause darkness. I'm sorry, Salaki. Let me read that again. Jeremiah 13, verse 16. Give glory to Yahweh your power before he caused darkness. And before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains okay this is talking to all israel okay we're supposed to we're, we're supposed to worship you how about shimmy i prove to him that, that that we want to be saved from this place before he starts destroying everything okay right now you still you you know jake's still living in la la land you know right now these edomites they are still at ease you know the things are things are ramping up but technically, you can still, you know, uh, go, uh, go, uh, you know, downtown, get, get some drinks, you know, you can still uh, buy a new car, okay, buy, buy, some, buy some video games, play your Xbox, you know, get some, get some, get some, get some females, chop it up, lay, lay up with them, you know. You can still do all those things, man. 
But there's going to come a time where that's not going to be an option anymore.